the next way to capture leads is through the Contact Farm 7 integration. So you need our Contact Farm 7 extension for this, which is available from our website and the links will be below. So for this, you again, you can use the free Contact Farm 7 plugin and then you need the Jetpack CRM Contact Farm connector. So you can connect your CRM to the ease of use of the Contact Farm 7. And again, exactly the same as before. So this one is Contact Farm 7 instead and you can choose the farm and then this gives you another farm here so it's a very simple way of doing it again so again we'll say so my start mic at contacts 7.com it sent a message through you can see that that contact's been added as well and you can have as many farms throughout the crm as you need and then again this one will say captured through contact farm 7. the additional things you can do for contacts farm 7 is you can add again if you do a hidden status like this you can set the status of the contact coming in so you could have different farms could have different statuses you can map custom fields so if you have a something like a food where you wanted to capture what type of food preference they have you can do that through a custom field as long as the slug matches the same and you can also do tags so if you do a hidden tags field again you can tag contacts available through the farms that way so if you wanted if you had a particular page about pre-sales, you could always tag those leads coming in that way with the pre-sale tag and then you could set up automations. So there's a video coming up on screen about using automations to then just make things a little bit easier with the CRM. So you can have a farm there, which could be a pre-sale question and you could have the automation, send an SMS to a certain person. So if you have a high value page, maybe selling an enterprise plan, then this farm could automatically send an SMS to somebody that's going to then reach out on a one-to-one -one basis. And the same can be done if you have something like a, a cancellation farm. So if someone submits a farm to cancel their service or cancel their contract with you. So if somebody fills in a farm to cancel their contract with you, then it can go through to a different team and that different team can then make a quicker call to make to try and make sure that that person doesn't leave for example so hopefully this video was useful if you like this video and want to see more videos please do hit the subscribe button and i will see you in a future video